Hey man, good to see you back. How'd it go? So-so. Rose here? No, she's in a meeting, bro. But I think she should be back in five or so. Can I help you? I killed Vlad. Badass, man! Keep it up and pretty soon the whole damn town will be yours. Remind me never, ever, ever to mess with you, dude. Who's Rose meeting with? Another vampire? I think he doesn't like the club. I mean, pff, whatever, man. Rose will take care of it. Do you know someone named Steiner? Steiner? You mean Victor Steiner? Sure, man. I mean, I don't like know him, but I've heard of him. Damn, dude, everyone's heard of Victor Steiner. The guy more or less owns the city. He's like the vampire dictator, man. You should totally talk to the twins about Steiner. I'll come back later. That's cool. See you, man. Hi, Eric. What can I do for you? I took care of things at Geoforge for you. There's no data on you anymore. Really? That's great! You're a doll, Eric. Tell me about Steiner. Steiner? My sister and I worked for him for a while. When we started there, we weren't even vampires. He has a club here in town, although club is putting it really mildly. It's an amusement imperium with clubs, casinos, entertainment, and much more. I've never met Steiner himself, so I can't tell you much there, unfortunately. He spends most of his time away from the club at other places. Once I became a vampire, I found out that he more or less rules the city. He is by far the oldest and most powerful vampire here. All the others are afraid of him. My sister might be able to tell you more. Give me a drink. Sure thing, Eric. One drink coming up. Hey, baby. Let's go. Sure. Hey. Hey, Eric. Tell me about Steiner. You want to know about Steiner? My sister and I, we used to work at his club. That guy poses as a gentleman, but he's a psychopath. In addition to his club and casino, he offers entertainment for men. The women who work there for him are really fucked up. I think he put some vampire shit on them. At any rate, they idolize him, and apparently it doesn't even bother them that he has ghouls as pets. Only invited guests are allowed. If you want to go, I just happen to have a kind of club ID card, you can have it if you want. I don't ever want to go back there. Okay. Thanks. Don't worry about it. How's it going? All right, but I'm busy. I'm mixing right now, you know? See you later. Yeah, whatever. Hi, Eric. Did I hear right? Are you going up against Victor Steiner? Worth a try. 
Eric, you're insane. Steiner is the most powerful vampire in the city. Maybe in the whole country. I know you're strong, but you don't stand a chance against him. What made you even think of him at all? I had a vision. A vision? You throw your life away for a lousy vision? Do you have a better plan? Vlad didn't work. No, unfortunately, I don't have a better plan, Eric. I wish I did, but I don't. I don't imagine I can talk you out of it. All right, I'll help. You're absurdly lucky. Steiner is usually on the road a lot, but tonight he's actually in town and at his club. You'll have to do it quickly because the sun will be coming up soon and he might not even be in town tomorrow. Oh, in addition, the guy has his own army in the club. You'll need a distraction. Fortunately, I have an idea. What can you tell me about Steiner? He is the oldest and most powerful vampire in town. He could probably tell you stories about the Crusades. I have no idea what kinds of powers he has, but they will be very powerful. Oh, please remember that all of our fates are in your hands. If he defeats you and finds out that we helped you, we are dead. Forever. Don't worry. He won't be defeating me. Oh, you really must be nuts. What can you tell me about his club? His club is called Atlantis. The sanctuary is nothing compared to that place. He has got bars, clubs, casinos, etc. all together in one huge building. His guards are mercenaries. You have to assume that they know about vampires. You might even run into other vampires there, so be careful. What kind of distraction? The club has visitors around the clock. If you can get panic to break out, it should distract at least some of the guards. Lucky for you, I happen to have a few smoke bombs. Well, well, you are full of surprises. If you only knew just what I have stored here. So, first you have to get into the club, then you place the smoke bombs. Once the visitors see the smoke, they will flee in panic. The guards will have their hands full trying to keep the police and firefighters and the press off their backs. With luck, you can take advantage of the chaos and only have to deal with half of Steiner's army. Will do. Time for me to head out. Eric, you really are crazy. Good luck. I'll try to stay in touch with you via the radio. But you have to hurry. The sun is starting to rise, forcing us to go to sleep. I'll take care of it. Sunrise was imminent, but time was running short. I had to find Steiner. Maybe the sun would even help me. Rose said that it was even harder to endure for old vampires. It wasn't much but it was all I had. Steiner's blood would save me from life as a ghoul. The angel had said so. I hoped it was right. The first rays of sun appeared on the horizon as I reached the Atlantis. How ironic that something so beautiful could be my death. I had to get inside before the sunlight began to burn me. According to Rose, Steiner had a veritable army of security personnel here. But it wasn't the human staff I was worried about. It was what else might be waiting for me there. Rose, I'm there. It's pretty busy here. Yep, the Atlantis is 24-7. At least the guards won't pay any special attention to you. But you still have to be careful. Chances are that they know about you. Steiner is well informed. Also, keep an eye out for the security cameras and don't let them see you. Contact me once you're in and I'll let you know where to set off the smoke bombs. Will do. You're simply impossible. Calm down, honey. I'll, I'll win it back. You'll win it back? You just lost 20 grand. That was supposed to be for our son's education. And just how do you plan on winning that amount back? You don't have any more money. Don't worry. I, I, I have someone who will lend me the money. Who? My brother, Winnie. Your brother? Are you out of your mind? He makes his money from theft and drugs. Hey, not so loud, honey. You can't borrow money from a gangster. God, he'll break your legs if you don't pay him back. Honey, he's my brother.
goes, I'm in the club. Where to now? Okay, you have to set the three bombs in three different places. I will give you the locations. And once they're in place, you better pull back to the maintenance area upstairs before you start the show. Got it. Have you heard about this new radio show called Kitty in the Dark? It is so cool. You wouldn't believe the sickos that call in there. <laughs> totally awesome. Yesterday, she had a guy on the show. Who Long night, he huh? Was a vampire. Say that again. Not just some music alone no, is enough to really drive me nuts. That's just about that? quitting time for me. Sure was That's a good thing. Weird stuff. But for you. Have you heard anything from Charlie the last few days? Nah, no, nothing. Still no sign of him, and he hasn't gotten in touch. Maybe he won the lottery and he's out there traveling around the world. Or maybe someone took care of him because he asked too many questions. Who knows? That could be. He always seemed a little strange to me. Curiosity's one thing. Once I caught him making some notes. Yeah? Did you report it? Of course I reported it. What do you think? You think that got him killed? Who the hell knows? I don't really care, either. I couldn't stand the guy, anyway. I'm in position. Our the party can start. Okay. Great distraction. Oh, and, and they had a hamster cage down there, too. Two. What? That was... A Holy shit! Can only see anything! Anyone know where the smoke is coming from? Someone has to get rid of the police and the fire anything. department. <laughs> they can't be allowed in here. Yourself. 
Forget it. I'm not going in there. Don't be an idiot. We'll secure the area here. You still in there? Forget it. I'm not going in there. We know you're hiding here somewhere. We'll secure the area here. Need backup. Not a chance! We're staying right here! Forget it! I'm not going in there! Stand a chance. Show yourself. Here he is. What the hell? We're staying right here. Must be back there. Cover me.
We'll secure the area here. Forget it. I'm not going in there. Just forget it. Not a prayer. A damn thing ate my money and now claims I didn't put anything in it. Come on, someone triggered the alarm. We have to check it out. Forget it. I'm not going until I have something to drink or my money back. Come on, come on, you piece of shit. I at least want my money back. Rose, you still there? The distraction worked great. I'm in. Excellent. But Eric? Day is dawning. I can't hold out much longer. Don't you feel anything? No. Oh, well, let's hope it stays that way. Baby. It looks like a Tarantino flick in here. Sounds like it's right up your alley, Tiger. Very funny. Where do I go now? You have to get through the door on your right. However, it has its own security systems. You have to open it from the backstage area. Okay, I'm on my way. Yeah, show us some. What about the alarm? It's all under control. Woohoo! Baby. Yeah. Shit, we lost a man. I'll get him out of there. Cover me. Where are you? Need backup. Target. 
target person is here! The bastard got him. Show yourself. The intruders disappeared. Need target person in need cover. You must be back there. Shoot him. Get him out of there! Cover me! Show yourself! Cover Man me. down! I'll get him! Man down! Where are you? Show yourself! Need backup!
Do you think the master will still come to the show? I hope so, but the sun has already risen outside, so I don't think he's gonna grace us with his presence. Oh, what a shame. I was hoping so much. Me too. Oh, me too. Rose, I found the controls for the door. Rose, are you still there? Yeah, sorry. I'm still here. But I can hardly keep awake. Okay, Rose, lie down and get some sleep. I can handle this alone. Of course, I've got to learn to stop saying things like that. Okay, this could be interesting. Standing at the foot of the Geo Forge Tower. Just like the Harding Museum, it was hit by a deadly terrorist attack I'll late last out of there. night. Cover me. In both buildings, gunmen broke in and fought running gun battles with the civilian security guard. Both buildings were severely damaged in the wake of several explosions. The fire department is working hard to bring the fires caused by the explosions under control. But several areas of the Harding Museum have already collapsed burying a number of the rescue workers. Yesterday evening's attack on the Harding Museum was initially attributed to fundamentalist groups. But in view of the recent attack on the Geoforge Tower, that interpretation is now being questioned. Always on the spot for you, this is Ian Schweitzer, RF Radio. you you don't stand a chance
Something is seriously wrong in this city right now. Why? What's going on? Don't you listen to the news? Last night there were two terrorist attacks. First, the Harding Museum was destroyed, and the Geo Forge Tower followed about an hour ago. <laughs> no idea what's going on, but I don't think this has anything to do with any religious fanatics. Something's fucking wrong here, damn it. And neither one's really much of a loss, are they? I went to the exhibition at the museum a few days ago, and I was bored to death. And the admission price they charged at Geoforge was so high you got altitude sickness. Still, it ain't that great having some madman running around the city blowing up buildings. We could be next, damn it. <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna happen. The place is like a fortress. And we're trained mercenaries, not weaklings like normal security contractors. If anyone shows up here, I'll shoot his ass off before he gets his hands up. situation. My head started to hurt again. Hopefully I would be able to make it without collapsing. Hurry, Eric. You have to find Steiner. You have to find him, Eric. Eric. The angel's voice was more urgent than usual. I had the feeling time was running out. I had to hurry.
He's inside. Go on, let the beasts out. You're hiding in here somewhere. yourself. Need backup. Target's here. Chance, we're staying right here. Forget it, I'm not going in there. We'll secure the area here. Here he is. Rose, are you still there? Rose, do you hear me? I'm in the security center. Okay. <sighs> Uninvited guests.
RF rate. Large areas of the Harding Museum have now collapsed. Several rescue workers were buried in the process. Letters from fundamentalist groups claiming responsibility are pouring in, but police have not been able to verify their authenticity. Just a few hours ago, the Harding Museum was the scene of a firefight with suspected terrorists, in which more than 20 staff members were killed. A few hours later, a still unknown number of explosive devices were detonated causing fire to break out in several places. Radical groups had protested an upcoming exhibition at the Harding Museum in which actual human body parts and organs were to be displayed. Always on the spot for you. This is Ian Schweitzer, RF Radio. The door clicked shut behind me, but that didn't matter. From the room ahead, I heard soft music. In the meantime, the sun had risen and bright and deadly light shone into the room through the skylight. But my focus was on the man who was sitting there playing the piano. That had to be Steiner. Thank you, but I think I would rather speak to my guest alone. Well... You've come a long way for a half-vampire. Frightening, the way you so easily got through my security system. I had help. Really? Interesting. We will need to talk about that later, in a little more detail. But I am keenly interested as to why you were here at all. Tell me, what brings you to my humble home? I would like to know more about vampires. Really? Well, it's quite commendable that you want to learn more about us and yourself. Please proceed. What would you like to know? Are there vampires older than you? Most certainly. If the world has taught me anything over the centuries, it is that nothing is impossible. But I think that it is sufficient for you to know that I am the oldest and most powerful vampire in this area. Tell me about Vampire Society. Vampire Society? Ah, oh, a very broad topic. To my regret, there is no real Vampire Society. Each of us, unfortunately, has a very healthy selfishness that keeps him from forming anything like a community with others. We are all born loners. There are simply a few rules we follow, such as keeping humanity ignorant of our existence. 
But otherwise, our society is pure anarchy. I suspect that you have come from Sanctuary. Who else would have sent you to me? That is a unique endeavor. Vampires who support one another. It's a pity I'm going to destroy them for sending you here. Tell me about your vampire abilities. <laughs> Good try. But I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. I have no further questions. Really? Well then... Are you Victor Steiner? That is correct. I am Victor Steiner. This is my club. And those were my security personnel and my ghouls you killed. But I guess you already knew who you were dealing with. Anything else would be... surprising. I need some of your blood. Ah, blood. Did your creator leave you behind alone? Well, I could offer you a place amongst my ghouls, but I doubt that the offer would interest you. So, if you want my blood, I'm certain you'll want to offer me something in return. Am I right? I have information. Information? That's interesting. Very interesting. Though I have my doubts that a half-blood can tell me anything relevant. But carry on. What can you offer me? I can tell you something about Blooming. About Blooming? Even if you hadn't killed him earlier tonight, there is nothing I would have cared to know about that misshapen creature anyway. In fact, I already know far too much about him. No, there's nothing I want to know about Blooming. You killed him. And he deserved to die. No one will miss him. I can tell you something about Vlad. About Vlad? Vlad is dead. What is there to care about? Moreover, you do not seem to realize that Vlad was working for me. I can tell you about the Sanctuary. Ah, yes, the Sanctuary. Do you really think that you can tell me anything my spies have not already written hundreds of pages about? I know enough about it. Thank you. I'm afraid I don't have anything that would interest you. This is most regrettable. I would dearly love to know something about the people who blew up the museum. And the Geoforge Tower. I don't suppose you happen to know anything about them. No. I had assumed that one of you did that to cover up the existence of vampires. That would have been a very clumsy way indeed to go about it, don't you think? Well, I shall have to look into that again later. I'll let you live. <laughs> Most generous. Yet I fear that you have either somewhat overestimated your own powers, or underestimated mine. I assume that you had something to do with the events at the museum. And a Geoforge. Am I right? I must admit, that did impress me. Oh, Blooming was a weakling. But Vlad, Vlad had potential. Strange that a half-blood could destroy him. Nevertheless, you underestimate me at this point. I fear you will find me a much more formidable enemy. Enough talk. Ah, do I sense a latent death wish? Good. Then let us begin. When the fight started, I knew it was already lost. The sunlight should have been my ally, but Steiner seemed to be immune to it. On the other hand, it burned into my flesh like fire. My second death seemed inevitable. Light blinded me as soldiers stormed the hall. I had seen this equipment before. The burglars in the museum had been similarly equipped. The sun didn't bother Steiner one bit. The enemy's bullets were another story. Steiner hit the ground. The gunfire subsided, leaving an eerie silence. A luminous apparition entered the scene. I thought the angel had come to save me. I was wrong. It seemed the woman gave the soldiers their orders. Apparently, they were only interested in Steiner. Good thing for me. I took the opportunity to make my escape. The passage through which the guards had come seemed to be my only chance. I ran, 
and used my powers as best I could. My life depended on it. My pursuer's voices grew quieter and finally disappeared. Down here, it would take them forever to find me, hopefully. The rising sun forced me to sleep. As the sun went down once more, I awoke. I couldn't understand what had happened in Atlantis. Was there such a thing as vampire hunters? Rose was my only clue, again. I made my way to the sanctuary.